I know that sound effect. Can you imagine being the guy who has to do that? Yeah, I know, right? Sound like, sound like a scary ghost. <laughs> it just sounds like just having a bad, a, a bad experience after Taco Bell with that. <laughs> Is the music in this game? Oh, dude, hundred percent. That was the first thing noticing this. I always noticed graphics, man. The graphics in this game are best in the Super Nintendo, I think. This, <laughs> not this, but <laughs> oh, this, this, the, the graphic style in this is is, is phenomenal, unique. I'll comment on it when we go on stream. <laughs> oh, we're already on stream. It's just oh, like, oh, are we? Oh, we're, oh, we Apparently. got audio right now, huh? Yeah. Well, some bitch, look at that. Do this. Probably the best intro to any game. That's pretty cool. So, okay. So this, gra <laughs> this graphic style. Now, the always the way I see this, the, the graphic style in this game, which I mean, it looks, it, it's great. Uh, but. But the, the graphic style on this is, to me, is made to show off muscles. This is like the, because let I me mean, look, every character is absolutely ripped. Yeah. In this. <laughs> Even the dragon. Especially ripped. <laughs> ripped right open. Yes. Uh, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, no, this is, this is solid. Sit down. Teabag him quick. <clears throat> but I mean, it just throws you right in the middle of the freaking fight. No tutorial. It's just mm -hmm. like, you... Like, have fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, Kahuna, that is one awesome looking dragon demon. Why doesn't he just walk? I have a like, all right, well, you're stuck now. So I have a filter on this where um, it gives it like a CRT look. It gives it like all little pinpoint bits. Oh, yeah. It even has like a little bit of like the old um, component cable. It has a little bit of distortion to it. Oh, okay. So the colors bleed like it's supposed to. Oh, neat. So yeah, it's supposed to be as close to like an old Sony television CRTV. Yeah. There's one thing that like stuff even like sh uh, Shovel Knight. I know. Great game. I'm not going to knock it. I love Shovel Knight. But um, one thing Shovel Knight kind of does is it um, has a art style that is way too jagged to be historically like accurate. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's looking to be absolutely oh, yeah, yeah. historically accurate. It's just that like on old TVs, the jaggies were actually really, really smooth. Not perfect line, but they were smooth. That's enough of that. The pop bottom is. There's a dragon on his beat. And they're killing the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Kakuna made the same joke on dead clan members. Yeah. That's. Feels here. Good. I can't dodge that. So apparently this game is actually on the uh, the 
Wii store, Nintendo Virtual Console store, or whatever. Oh, it is. is it? Yeah, it's nice. I didn't. Th- I didn't think they released it for ages, and all of a sudden I look into it, and they're like, "Yeah, Demon's Crest is on the Virtual Console." And I'm like, "Really? <laughs> That's awesome!" So go out and get this. This is a freaking great game. That yeah, is. I like that they don't do like the flashing for enemies. Mm-hmm. Like they, they slowly turn. Turn, yeah. yeah. There we go. I do have to admit, though, I kind of like enemy power bars. I, I don't mind. I like like that you don't get to know. How close an enemy is to death. It's kind of like Cuphead, right? Yeah. Cuphead is kind of the same thing where. Oh, yeah. You're not 100% sure how far they are to be an enemy, except that you. They have different attack strategies from. Yeah. Um, speaking of Cuphead, uh, did you catch the uh, the E3 uh, like Coliseum thing that they did? Uh-uh. Uh, so they had Todd Howard. Uh, and uh, Elon Musk. Oh, I think I saw some pictures of that, but I didn't know the context. Uh, yeah, so they have them on there, and, and they're talking about all the games that you can be able to have on a Tesla. Hmm. And so they're going to have like Fallout Shelter is going to be on there. Apparently, nearly every Atari game is going to be on there. On a Tesla? Mm-hmm. So you can play. You got the big old screen because you got that screen for the navigation. So you can play games while your car drives you somewhere? Well, no, not while your car drives. You have to be parked to be able to play the games. Oh, because I was thinking if your car is going to drive you somewhere anyway, you can sit there and play games while you get... No, no. The cool thing, though, is that they'll have Cuphead available to be able to play, which is kind of neat. Oops. Um, And then, um, along with uh, Cuphead, uh, they will have... Um, this other game it is a surefire contender for game of the year, uh, which is Beach Buggy Racing. Beach Buggy Racing? No, that's not it. Two. Oh. Yes, yes. There's already been one, man. I, I mean, I'm sure that you forgot about it. I'm still waiting, but for, I'm still waiting for Replay 3. So. <laughs> but um, what's cool, though, actually. Go, go, go down. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. The thing down on the left. Um, there you go. Uh. What's cool though about the Beach Buggy Racing 2 is that you can actually use the actual steering wheel of the car <laughs> to be able to okay, that's cool. drive around and everything. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. Which I will also say, another big thing for mobile gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Bazing. <laughs> Laugh at me. It's like the battle of the six packs right now. When two crossfitters are in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> Bink. Earth. Transport into G. Gargoyle. I always like these games where you get a new power and it's always just like initial and then a word. Mm-hmm. What not. Like you get, you have M Buster from the Mega Man games and such. Trying to break down stone statues. I don't even know what I'm more excited about, to be honest. Final Fantasy VII Remake or the Final Fantasy VIII Remaster. Because holy oh, the seven remake. fucking biscuits, dude. Final Fantasy VIII was amazing. Uh, God, fuck him. <laughs> Bitch, slap I'm... the mustache off you. <laughs> God damn it, don't give me that. <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII started out good, but then it just went absolutely batshit crazy. Like, no, I mean, like... The, the, the story is just like all over the place. I, it, I, I had a hell of a time. I mean, to look at it. look look at any Final Fantasy. God damn it, Final Fantasy game though. Okay, fair enough. It's it's Japanese, so yeah. it's, it's going to be incoherent to begin with. But I I just eight was a hard sell for me. I mean, I loved it. I thought it was great. It was just more mature tone than that Final Fantasy Seven, but it's which just, I really liked. It was just something about 8 that always just like... I, I, I did play all the way through all that good stuff, and I just... I don't remember anything about it. Yeah. Like, I, I remember nothing about playing 8. I'm just looking forward towards hours and hours and hours 
of card playing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, love the cards. Thing. That was a lot of fun to play that. It's like <laughs> brothel. Who <laughs> wants to see the brothel part in HD? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Seeing Cloud in a dress in HD getting smacked around by a very burly looking man. Oh, get off. Oh, yeah, and they are releasing yeah, physical side of uh, yeah, Final Fantasy, uh, physical copy of Final Fantasy VII. Like, I got the deluxe edition, so it's 80 buck dollars, but... Um, 80 buck dollars? Yep. That is it's, not, it's not just 80 bucks, 80 yep, buck dollars. It is. That is U.S. currency right there. God damn, where the hell am I at? Oh, I'm sucking bad at this. <laughs> I, I, I gotta turn my gamer card. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until the entire package for Final Fantasy VII is out. Might you, be a long uh, wait. I mean, it's a good way to be able to spend your social security money, I guess, because <laughs> you're gonna be waiting that long. <laughs> oh, I remember this dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Come on. Here you go. Oh, look at that frame I can't, rate. I can't get that out. frame rate. You um, jelly piece of shit. I'm excited to see what they'll do with Final Fantasy VIII. I think they're gonna do a really good job with it. But if you ever get a chance to see Final Fantasy VIII, like emulated with like you know the high the high resolutions and stuff, yeah, the facial expressions and all that kind of stuff are actually in the game, in the old PlayStation game. Yeah. Oh yeah. And once you get like an HD or once you get um, with like um, anti-aliasing and stuff, it's just absolutely mind blowing. Yeah. How how detailed the game is. Oh yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be great. I'm really excited. I, I that was a that was a huge huge thing for me seeing that come on up. So that's gonna be great. Yeah, twelve is a good fan. Van. Van. It's like let's have we're gonna have cool names. And then Van. Oh, it's better than snow and hope and like Oh my goodness, yeah. I, Thank you. That's a, I, I that. hated that game. There are... I, I I tried to give that game a chance. I gave it three hours of my life. I, and, yeah, and I gave it a I, solid I, six. Right, right, when I get, right when I got to the beginning, the end of the uh, first set of... Um, what the fuck they're called? The cutscenes. Yeah. I was done. Yeah, I just... Espe especially after I saw, like, a character's, like, hope and stuff. I'm like, yeah, there's nothing keeping me here. Yeah, exactly. Like, snow. It's, like, cool. It's, it looks like they're like, hmm, let's put a, let's put one of those New Jersey specimens into a Final Fantasy <laughs> world. My goodness. Like, I... Yeah. The Final Fantasy thirteen was hippie New Age games. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was between that and Final Fantasy X2 that in terms of unnecessary Final Fantasy games because that game was just that was uh, the one created by an entire group of like female developers and yeah that was the girl power one and which the, I have the, no the, power no no problem with but I mean when you're beginning your your Final Fantasy game and I mean that's key word right there Final Fantasy game with a Charlie's Angels intro mm -hmm. they, they, no they, 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 they kind of didn't break any stereotypes let's just say that yeah dress well, up sing star Exactly. It's like, do you do you want your characters to have cool new powers? Give them this dress. What? <laughs> no, I don't want to. Like, I want to give them something cool, not some cloth that makes them look more attractive. I think this is the wrong place, dude. Is it though? You, you need the aerial gargoyle. Otherwise, you're gonna get wrecked. Matt, I enjoy a good challenge. Alright. Enjoy getting wrecked. <laughs> I crave attention, Matt. I'll take it. Um. Yeah. Luke says, Van from Final Fantasy XII was the worst main character of all time. Change my mind. Titus. Yep, thank you. <laughs> oh my. Whoa. Ooh. We're good. You can go down, either go down there or you can go to the yeah. Game on, bro, him. Dude. So with Final Fantasy VIII, the things I do remember are a school for, like, the gifted. And you're, like, a school for assassins. Yeah, yeah, seeds. The seeds, yeah. And then I remember the monsters come from the moon. I remember blacking out and having, like, 
flashback powers to see another guy with long hair. I remember the sorceress killing you with a shard of ice. I, me I remember the ambiguous ending, whether or not it's all just like a death dream or mm -hmm. if it's actually like real. And I also remember you could you could you could do that draw system thing, right? Yep, draw. And what you do is I enjoyed that. You you, you draw a hundred death things from this one enemy out in like a a. Uh, Desert, mm -hmm. and you equip them on your like main weapon, and if you have a hundred death draws on a, from an enemy, mm -hmm. anything you touch with that that weapon will kill it instantly. Vicious buffalo heads. Ah, uh, we got douche McAllister here. <laughs> so, what's everyone's favorite Final Fantasy game of all time? Like your ears personally, not not doesn't have to be like what everyone else thinks it is. What's your screen? And it's tough. I mean, Final Fantasy VII was the first PlayStation game I ever played. Mm -hmm. um, I know I've beaten seven like four times in a row, or not in a row, but four times. I th I think in terms of just being able to, in terms of maybe just overall enjoyment, I'll give it to Final Fantasy VII, but. Eight is just it, it is very very close for me. I'd say six is up there. See, I haven't played anything below seven. That's hard to play below seven. And seven broke so many barriers, anyways. There, I mean, it was the first to be able to have like full motion cutscenes, you know, and just it, it was it was revolutionary and storytelling. You know, I I just, icon iconic characters. Yeah. It was just, it was, it was outstanding. You know, 9 doesn't get nearly as much to love as it needs. Oh, 9 is fantastic, too. I love 9. Big, big, big. big fan of that guy. Ow. Poor thing. I remember playing a lot of it, but I just never finished it. I got to where they find out that that big eye in the sky is like a spaceship, and it's like, oh, I'm doing a spaceship rather. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never again, did. Again, again, it's, it's Japanese storytelling. Like, all of a sudden, something from fucking left field comes out, and it's like, what? Yeah. We're, we're in a medieval world, you have a medieval premise, everything's going great, and all of a sudden fucking... Space. Yeah, the, the god thing that's killing everybody is a spaceship, and then monsters come from home. Yeah, um, I never did get to beat 9. Uh, I well, think I've got it, but... I know a couple spoilers from 9, and they're unfortunate. My world move has been defeated! <laughs> Next time I'll beat you with my ultimate form. Cool. Oh, you got the air. This is where you get the air gargoyle, huh? Boom, look at that, huh? I'm going back in. Nice. Maybe I should give Final Fantasy VIII another try, though. But I just remember playing it and being just feeling like... Uh, well, you would feel that way, though. Because <laughs> I'm me. No, no, not because you're you. Uh, it, because you have had an absolute attachment to Final Fantasy VII. Like, that part is true. Yeah. So, like, I, I, feel, I feel that and it's, it's any game, it, it wouldn't matter if it was the the second coming of Final Fantasy VII that would have followed up after Final Fantasy VII. But see, it might still be tough for you to be able to play because it's... Wasn't. It's not even the fact didn't that didn't have like, Vincent. Either. Oh, there you go, Vincent. Yeah, he's the, he's the shit. But um, no, it's it's the story. I mean, the graphics were were great. The the characters were mm, a bit interchangeable. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was just that the story just never settled well with me. Yeah. Because I mean, it, what what was that thing that was actually like controlling the seeds? That big fat thing in the basement. Oh, I can't remember. It's been See, so that, that's what I mean. I I can't remember anything about the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to get back into it because I I can't remember a whole lot on it. There, it's been a long time. I know you can I mean, write that. I, I know you can write that guy. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, he, he'll get you. He get you. Yeah, this is a uh, this is Demon's Crest. Um, Demon's Crest is the shit. Do your magic. Get, if you can find it on Virtual Console, get it. Yeah, it's it's a great game. Yeah, underrated. So underrated. Oh, damn. Oh, look at that. I blew him up right when he was like an inch away from my head. Boom. He falls apart. Oh, shit. I thought the game froze up on me. I'm like, yeah. I can't move. Just 
check this out. After I lose to this guy the first time, that entire forest canopy's gone because I threw him in the water. There you go, yeah, dude. Killed him. I think. Oh, shit, no, I didn't. I forgot to cancel those two forms. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, here it is, here it is. This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to run. Oh, now he's getting cocky. Oh, no. I'm getting cocky, so now I'm not it. Oh! Ooh. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Same thing again. <laughs> Just chasing you down. Yes! There you go. Let's see, why don't you just change from the air? Because Gargoyle. it seems like he was doing a lot of damage, so I was like, I'm gonna keep it. You got the piece of the fire crest called Tornado. Do you want to keep playing this or you want to play something else? I don't, I don't care. We, we, could, not... we could rock Turtles in Time. We could do uh, classic Nintendo games. What are we talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm just here to party. Man. We could even do something. Uh, <laughs> we could even like play like something that has a bit more graphic punch to it. Like you play Devil May Cry 5 or see if I have anything else that's no shit. Yeah, huh? I'm, I'm up for whatever. I'm, I'm just having a, a hunk of door at a time. Having a hell of a time. 